Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Elden Ring, the uh, the, the absolute creator of degenerates, the uh, murderer of proper sleep schedules. Uh, predictions? Yeah, I uh, I think Final Fantasy 16 will be here. I actually think this is where Final Fantasy 16 will be. I don't think Final Fantasy 7 Remake will be here at all. That's too early. Once again, you need to have uh, 16 be out and Forspoken be out before we hear anything on part two. I don't think there's going to be a Bloodborne remaster, but that's why I put a thousand gift subs on it. One thousand gift subs down on a Bloodborne remaster. DNF dual trailer, that'd be cool, right? If there was a DNF dual trailer, that'd be super cool. Yeah, there's a chance, I guess. There's a chance that RE4 re Remake could be here, but I think RE4 Remake is E3. And here's the thing. This is mostly Japanese games. Everyone keeps forgetting that this is this is mostly a Japanese third-party and first-party development showcase. So there's, a, there's room for some other stuff, but this is primarily Japanese studios only. They already, they already said that. Everyone's like, oh, is Wolverine or Spider-Man gonna be here? Very low likelihood. Super low likelihood. Um, I do think one thing will happen though, and this is almost a guarantee, that a state of play PlayStation focused Japanese developer 20-ish uh, minute show will somehow dedicate 19 minutes to Deathloop in some way, right? Regardless of what they say, regardless that the game is out, there will be a huge chunk of time dedicated to Deathloop in some way. Deathloop is forever. Here we go. Final Fantasy 16, where are you? Are you in there, FF16? Hello? Somewhere? Hello? I'm gonna find out. Hello, viewers. Pragmata? I'm Ivy the Android. No. I'd like to share today's dinosaur forecast. What? A dinosaur outbreak will soon occur. Residents in the affected area have been evacuated, and a team of exo fighters has been dispatched. Dino crisis? A vortex warning has been issued. Please remain indoors. No, this doesn't look like a Capcom game. What the fuck? What the fuck? You have to be fucking shitting me! What the fuck? What? Oh my god, it's Regina! What the fuck is happening? What the fuck? This situation. It doesn't look like a Capcom game. All I wanted was to be IBS's top pilot. IBS's latest dinosaur forecasts add XOC technology. We're able to They turned it into an arcade shooter. Oh my god. What the what the what the fuck what the fuck? XOC development is proceeding under the guidance of the next Jet AI, Leviathan. Oh my, what, what am I even looking at? What am I even looking at? Meanwhile, what the, I what? Continues to recruit candidates to become new exo fighters. What the, the greatest <laughs> I know a very specific reset era user right now that is absolutely losing his fucking mind. Oh my God, RE Engine T-Rex. Dino crisis. Give me the logo, god damn it. Give it to me. What? What? Another Exo fighter recruit, right? Welcome to Ivius. Not Dino Crisis? Spiritual successor? That was clearly Regina. That was clearly Regina. We just saw the debut of Exo Primal, a brand new IP from Capcom. It hits PS4 and PS5 next year. What the Next fuck? Next up, let's get some eye-popping updates for some fan favorites. What the? Soon. 
What the what? I was so what, yeah, they're saying it's a new IP, right? It's clearly a spiritual successor to Dino Crisis. What the? So it looks like a four player cooperative dinosaur hunter arcade game shooter looter slash. Wow, well, this is already sounding ridiculous. Slash melee combat action game. I didn't get a chance to check any of this this game out either. I'm kind of curious about it. It's raining dinosaurs, right? I'm still trying to process what we just saw. I'm sorry. I do want to try this game out when it eventually comes out. I'm like, this doesn't look like a Capcom game. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, most likely what we just saw was Dino Crisis at some point, and then they added a bunch of new crazy stuff to it and then it evolved into being something brand new you know because if anything what we just saw for like exo primal or whatever is is essentially a like a much bigger version oh god strangers of paradise a much bigger version of um dino crisis 2 which is very arcade like I am kind of excited for this game. I can't lie. Seeing all the crazy locations and stuff and these crazy monsters, I'm kind of excited for this game. I'm excited for the cheese. Later today, visit PlayStation Store to yeah, this has a, a demo, demo now, right? For Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin. Now, let's jump into the world of Forspoken Damn. with some all-new gameplay. Square getting, uh, several games on here? There's- where's the one game? Huh? It is quite beautiful. Yeah, and, uh, everything here wants to kill you, kind of way. So this game got delayed till what? September, October? I still want to play it. It looked rough in one gameplay demo. Like the editing already. This trailer is doing good because it's all in engine and gameplay action, right? This is what this is where this game looks great. When it, when it's working. See, it looks fun. Like, it looks like it's fun. There we go, October 11th. That's what it is now. That was a new look at the sprawling PS5 adventure for Spoken. For Spoken? Luminous Productions. Let's check out some 6v6 action in Gundam Evolution, a fast-paced multiplayer shooter coming to PS4 and PS5 later this year. Huh? I hear 90s stuff. What the hell? I 
<laughs> I've been 19. I've been 2002. Holy shit. The music. Yeah, it is literally Gundam Overwatch. Did you guys already know about this? Huh? Everyone called it like before it was even shown. Has this been out in Japan for six weeks or something like that already? It was announced a couple years back. I see, I see. That's a Bamco joint, right? This looks like a Bandai Namco game. It doesn't look bad. I mean, it looks kind of neat. It's just that the hero shooter is just not... It's a genre that's so damn tired at this point. I don't even know if it's a Bam Bamco game. What? What the hell? Is a Ninja Turtles collection coming out? Holy shit. Oh my god! Tournament Fighters is- What the hell? Tournament Fighters is on here? I'm gonna say Digital Eclipse is making this. Dang, Tournament Fighters uh, Genesis is on here too. Konami. Huh. All right, Konami. All right, Konami. All right. That's a pretty great collection. All right, this four-player kaiju game. This looks really fun. Yeah, we saw this a little while ago. Kaiju Brawler Gigabash comes to PS4 and PS5 later this year. Next, a fan favorite fighting game makes a beautiful and bizarre return. What? What? Huh? What? What? Fucking JoJo game? Is this an Arc System Works JoJo game? Where's my brain going right now? <clears throat> So... Wait, is it the All-Stars games? Is it getting... Okay, is it the All-Stars games collection remaster? Which is pretty cool. These are the Cyber Connect 2 games, right? They, or they already look really good. Yeah, yeah, these are the PS3 games. Okay. I mean, still, it's really cool. These games are ridiculously cool visually. Will it actually have online, though? And that, will it actually have good online? I, I think the answer is no to all of that. All-Star Battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remix or whatever. Yeah, it was it ran at 30 FPS in the old versions. Yeah, it was rough. That's neat. It'll be fun to check out. I'm just curious, like, what is it? Like, our next two games will take you beyond life and death. Nice, Sifu Samurai. Oh 
Yeah, this has been around for kind of a while. <clears throat> I don't know if it's if it ever officially came out. Probably not. It always did look cool. Take this, weird river people. They added Steam demo last year. Gotcha. PlayStation Studios game. What? Trapped in an endless cycle. What? Fighting. What? Dying. Returning. Always the same. For PC, always please. Changing. Please. Astra. Please, dear God. Not anymore. What? What? Real fucking co-op? What? Now I stand. Oh my god, new areas. Tower. I climb as Sisyphus did, pushing the boulder upward. No matter how high I climb, the challenge. Oh hell yeah. Again. Oh hell yeah. Oh the meat gun. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah, dude. I can't wait. But I fight on through the infinite. Seeking answers. Seeking ascension. My release is within this tower. And I will find it. Oh, hell yes. I can't wait. More, more lore, more gameplay. Eternal Ascension 3.0. Yes, please. Housemark is bringing campaign co-op and a mysterious new survival mode to Returnal Ascension. What? A free update hitting this. Oh my god, it's a completely new gameplay mode. I have goosebumps it's right now. Time to sign off, but before we do, let's get a first look at two brand new games coming from Square Enix. Two brand new games? What is happening? Square Enix, how many trailers do you this have is here? Really what you want. And you are certain that what we are doing is best for the people of the kingdom? Yes. I suppose it would, in a sense. True. Yes. It made me wonder, am I still that same person? The era of myths gives way to an era of great turmoil. The continent was ravaged by the devastating war between the Empire and the Alliance. However, one nation remained uh, unaffected by the chaos. The Kingdom of Alatain. Is this going to be Final war Fantasy Tactics? Looked destined to have its soil. Is this like a modern day Final Fantasy Battle. Tactics? We've finally been called up. We're up against the Empire's main army. We are to eradicate every last Imperial who comes ashore. Tactics 2 exists. Come on, everyone. This is definitely something. And now, what it is, I do not know. I have questions. Do you really have such a yearning for war? This doesn't look I like tactics. It. It's an RTS, yeah. Uh, that was like Bahamut. So then, what shall we do now? We're going to retake it. This is our chance while they're all assembled. We should send our best and crush them. That's right. 
It looks like a really high budget, relatively high budget tactic style game, right? It also like relatively. But it's like Square Enix XCOM in a way. I suppose it is the only way for us to survive. That is not what I was expecting. Completely original new game. Square Square XCOM? Okay. Oh no, it's not 16. Oh no. It's not 16. Oh my god, it's a possibly Valkyrie profile. If the will to fight still lingers within you, then accept my offer <coughs> and join me. Uh, Platinum Games Valkyrie Profile game? Is that what we're saying? Is my word. It's a Valkyrie profile game, yeah. Ragnarok tears our world asunder. All we hold precious lies on the brink of annihilation. Become my tool of intervention and save this world from doom. It's got a lot of tellings of a of a of a Platinum Games game. Not a great art style, though. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No idea who's making it. Your efforts to remain undetected are lacking. Reveal yourself. Who are you? That's all for today. No, we'll Final Fantasy 16. Square just had a billion other games that were in here. It was almost like they showed everything but Final Fantasy 16. Holy crap, man. Almost everything they could have possibly shown instead of 16. But this is a pretty badass state of play, I won't lie. Like, funny enough, I feel like the last two big reveals didn't really hit with the same gusto that they were assuming they were going to hit. Like the Square Enix RTS game and the, uh, the, the new uh, Valkyrie game made by seemingly Platinum Games. It's hard to tell. But Capcom's reigning dinosaurs and a brand new Dino Crisis game and Returnal is getting a huge update with new content, new story, new gameplay, new co-op, like all this crazy stuff. So there's a couple of things in here that are like, mwah, like super hype for me. I am actually still blown away that there is no Final Fantasy 16. I am actually blown away.